Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're going to take a look at running your Raspberry Pi headless. Stick around and we'll get right to it. All right, guys, I want to bring you this video today uh, by request from a patron. So they wanted to kind of see the way I was doing this. So let's get this out there today so we can help not only uh, the patron out, but all of you guys as well. Okay, so let's take a look at running the Raspberry Pi headless, meaning that we have no monitor, keyboard, or mouse connected to it. Uh, we want to use some other wireless device to connect to our Pi and give us complete control. So this will apply if you have used the Auto Hotspot uh, video to install Auto Hotspot. And I'll leave a link to that right up uh, in the corner above. And it will also apply for those that have built their Raspberry Pi using the Build-A-Pi script. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go up to the Start menu on the Pi. Let's come down to Preferences, and let's come down and choose Raspberry Pi Configuration. Once this window opens up, let's go over to Interfaces, and right here you'll see VNC. We we'll want to make sure that that is enabled. Uh, that is disabled by default, so you'll need to turn that on if you haven't already. Once you've clicked Enabled on that, go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to open up the terminal window. Uh, we can get this information over here from Conky, uh, what I'm going to show you in the terminal. But in case you don't have Conky running, I'll show you how to get that uh, from the terminal as well. Now the Raspberry Pi is in hotspot mode. We can see that right here uh, that the wireless LAN 0 is stopped. So, And I, I just happen to know that it's in hotspot mode. So in the terminal, Let's run hostname hyphen capital I. That's hostname space hyphen capital I. We'll go ahead and hit return. And you'll see that it gives us two IP addresses right here. Well, I happen to know that this one is my Ethernet cable. And this one is what we need to connect with VNC. And if you haven't modified anything uh, with the auto hotspot script or the build a pie script, then 10.10.10.10 is going to be the default uh, web address that you'll use to connect to your uh, Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and jump over to the iPhone and take a look at uh, the way things work for connecting using the VNC client to the VNC server. Okay, so over on your wireless device, you want to pull up your Wi-Fi, uh, your Wi-Fi connection window, and look to see what networks are around you. In this particular case, uh, I know that my hotspot is named Test-Pi. If you haven't changed yours from default, it will be RPI Hotspot. Let's go ahead and click on that to connect to it, and it's going to ask you for the password. Now this will be the password that you set up when you ran the auto hotspot script or when you uh, were setting up your Raspberry Pi using the Build-A-Pi script. So in this case, I know my password is KM4ACK1234, but you'll use whatever uh, password you entered during the setup process. After we see the check mark that indicates we are connected to that hotspot, Let's jump over to our VNC viewer. In the VNC viewer, we want to hit the plus sign, and then I'm going to enter the address 10.10.10.10. And that's the IP address that we saw a while ago uh, while we were on the Raspberry Pi and entered the hostname uh, hyphen I command. And we'll just give this a name of uh, test pi and go ahead and hit the Save or the Done button, either one. After that, we'll go ahead and click Connect. And it's going to ask us for our username and password. This is the username and password for your Raspberry Pi. I haven't changed mine from default, so I'm just going to enter Pi and Raspberry. 
once I hit the continue button, it will go ahead and connect to the Raspberry Pi. At that point, you've got uh, full control with the mouse and you can pull up a keyboard on your wireless device. And I tell you what, we'll just run the, well, can't quite spell it right. We'll just run the date command here and hit return. Now, if I zoom in there, you'll see that I just ran the date command and it returned the current date and time. All right, guys, I hope this helps you get your Raspberry Pi up and running headless. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.